to determine how good a place really is, you gotta judge the chicken breasts. That get, oh my God. Finally, after like two years of torment, I am finally going to try possibly the best chicken in all of Saudi Arabia and even the world. Today, we are visiting El Bek. This place is just constantly busy. Like you gotta be standing there waiting for your number to be called. If you miss it, that's it. Someone's grabbing your order. Like it is, it is always just pumping out numbers. Okay, this is it. We are finally here. Food finally came. It's been about 10 minutes of waiting, so not so bad considering how busy it is. Pretty stoked for this. We've got pretty much one of everything. So we got the regular chicken, not spicy, spicy chicken. And also this is not actually fried chicken. It's roasted chicken, which is kind of like a pressure cooked fried chicken. Like it's fried chicken, but it's pressure cooked instead. So it's supposed to be less oily, more crispy, and just better overall. On top of that, we got their fish sticks, which I didn't even know they had, but they were highly recommended. So we're gonna give that a shot. Just saw them right now on the menu. Their shrimp, <laughs> supposed to be very good. And then their nuggets. This is what they're specially known for. We got the non-spicy and the spicy. So we got spicy, non-spicy of each thing. And on top of that, we also have a new item, which is called the Big Big, and the, I think the double, double chicken burger. I don't know the actual name for it. But we'll start with the non-spicy, just to give it a go. Personally, myself, I like the thigh. It looks good, golden brown. Absolutely perfectly fried. And there go my chips. <laughs> we'll give that a shot a little bit later. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at that. Oh my God. Look at the meat. Look how juicy that is. I also think this is the spicy version considering the color. But look at the layers of flavor in that. It's like they inject it. I don't know how they get all that flavor into it, but let's go. This should be illegal. The tenderness of this chicken and the juiciness, it goes all the way through. Like, geez, that's hot. But every strand of fiber is just dripping with juice. Like, look at that. The skin itself, very good, but it's not overly spicy. I was expecting a higher kick. So I'm gonna kind of burn my mouth. Oh my God. This is honestly the best chicken I've ever had. I've had fried chicken in probably over 15 countries. It's one of my favorite foods. And this, absolutely next level. Does not live down, or does not disappoint the hype. <laughs> Each combo here is a four piece. And under here, they give you a piece of bread right here. So what you're supposed to do is you take some bread, take some chicken and eat that with the bread or just like peel it apart, I guess. Throw it into there. But to determine how good a place really is, you gotta judge the chicken breast. Chicken thighs, chicken legs, chicken wings, always gonna be good anywhere you go. It's the chicken breast that get, oh my God. That, holy, that gets you. Check that out. Right to the core, it is just, <laughs> just dripping. Like, it's too hot to squeeze. Chicken breast, absolutely juicy, flavor to the core. Like, you wouldn't know this is just a chicken breast. Like, you're not gonna get bored of this. I eat chicken breast as my daily diet, chicken bread, chicken breast and rice. I hate it. This, I could eat this every day. Super juicy. Another thing they're known for is their garlic sauce right here. It's supposed to be like the top of the top garlic sauce. You guys know me, I love my garlic. So, let's see how this plays out. It smells super garlicky. I think, I think I'm gonna like this. Dip the uh, non-bitten end. This is one of the best garlics I've ever had. God damn. Next, we're gonna try out the nuggets because I think that's what I'm most excited for here. Their roasted chicken is not even the best thing on the item. Everyone comes here for the nuggets, so that's, that's the golden hour. We'll start with the non-spicy just to see what it's like. Also, as you can tell, the shape here is just completely different. It's not like when you go to McDonald's and you have whatever those random shapes are, the bell, boot, whatever. Everything is, is um, what's the word I'm looking for? In sync, the same, equal. But, let's see. Honestly, very good. But for the non-spicy version, I think I actually like the non-spicy roasted better. It's super good, like, it sticks to it a little bit, but it did come out with me. But if you can see, I think this is actually chicken thighs. 
that they just have cubed up and pressed and then they fold them into this shape, which is pretty nice. It's very unique. Never had something like this before. I heard the ketchup was different than other ketchup, so we're gonna see what that's like. I typically never dip nuggets in ketchup or chicken in ketchup anyways, but let's just see. It honestly tastes like your average ketchup. Nuggets, heavily seasoned, very delicious. I just don't think I would go for the non-spicy version, if I'm being honest. And now for the spicy. Let's go for the crispy side. I'm torn. Amazing, also amazing. It's kind of hard to pick, like, if you see here, just like the chicken, like, take that apart. Every strand is pretty seasoned. Like, everything in there is spiced. Just absolutely delicious. Let's try this with garlic since I already broke it apart. The nuggets are a solid 10 out of 10. You know when you go for nuggets and you feel kind of guilty because you feel like it's not something healthy that you shouldn't be eating it? Nuggets here, it just feels like you're eating healthy chicken that's just been cut and pressed and a little bit fried, I guess. That's the unhealthy part, or roasted. Super good, super delicious. Nuggets are honestly a 10 out of 10. Like, to compare these to anywhere else, would be offensive. Like when you go to McDonald's and you try their nuggets, I'm personally not a fan of McDonald's nuggets. I know a lot of you guys might be. It feels like cardboard to me. And then on the inside, you got that mush. Like it's not, it's not real. It's not, it's not, it's not chicken, man. It's processed, it's garbage. This, you're getting real slices of chicken and it's in the form of nugget. Like you feel <laughs> pretty good with yourself trying to eat this. I love it. Nuggets, 10 out of 10. Roast chicken, spicy, 10 out of 10. I'd say the <laughs> original is probably like a solid nine. And I can't touch. Uh, fried chicken, that's original. Like my favorite place is Popeyes in Canada. I know everywhere else in the world is not that great, forgive me. But I can't touch their non-spicy chicken. Like I think it's actually bad. Anyways, back to the fish stick. So there you have it. Feels pretty meaty. I had no intention of ordering these. After eating this, it just, <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm overhyping this place, but even their fish is phenomenal. Like, look at that. You actually see the flakes of fish in there and it's juicy to the core. Like, this place is just absolutely next level. Their fish sticks, I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's whatever this white fish is. Maybe it's haddock, cod, I don't know. But it also comes with tartar sauce. We'll give that a go, the tartar. It's perfect. It's kind of thick, where it's not like mayonnaise-y, where sometimes it's like a bit overly mayonnaise-y where it's too creamy, it's not that good. It's kind of thick, which is kind of nice. It sticks to the nugget itself. I think if you come here and you order everything else, the fish might actually have to be one of your staples just to, <laughs> if you're coming from the gym or something, just go for the fish. Like it's, it's actually delicious and it feels like a treat as well. Next up, we got the shrimp, one of my favorite foods. It's again, one of the staples here. People go for the nuggets and the fish and usually a sandwich. Roasted is actually not their most popular thing, even though I absolutely loved it. Let's give the shrimp a go. I can see why people like it a lot. I don't know if it's because I waited a little bit while I was eating everything else and got through these last. It has kind of a doughiness to the tempura itself. Flavor is very good, but it's just, shrimp is typically always good, I would say. Like it's shrimpy and it's ready, crispy, but it's a little bit doughy. Not my favorite shrimp, if I'm being honest. And it comes with the shells on. I'm not a big fan of. I don't know if these are the edible ones or if these are gonna be the crunchy ones. I'm not gonna take my chance. But they do serve it with a cocktail sauce. It's not your normal cocktail sauce that you typically get with the, the ketchup looking thing with the horseradish inside of it. Not that at all. Let's give the shrimp a go. It's all saucy. It's good. If I'm being honest, I think the fish sticks actually take the cake with this one like and that's going against one of my favorite foods. The fish sticks itself, fantastic. On top of that, they serve you chips here. You got your fries, of course, but also chips, which is very different. Not what I'm used to getting when I go to a fast food place. Uh, kind of like your standard kettle cooked chip. Nothing too crazy. I think, I think they have a spicy version. I'm not 100% sure, but if there was a spicy version, I'd probably like that a lot. I love chips in general. Next up, we have one of the new items. Also check this out. Their own Pepsi is branded for a big. Also, uh, I apologize. I have been boycotting everything, Coca-Cola, whatever, all those different things, all the chains. 
I did not know they served Pepsi. When the order came, it came with Pepsi, so I was unaware of that. I probably still won't drink it. I may even return it, if I'm being honest. Not my thing, so yeah, forgive me for that. Next up, we got the big boy. This is the Big Big. This is like their version of the Big Mac, but probably a lot better. Oh God, this thing is massive. And it's got what looks to be cheese on it. This thing is huge. Put that in my hand, like look at that. Absolutely massive. It appears to be just a giant, a giant nugget with coleslaw and pickles and whatever their secret sauce is. This is gonna be a big bite. <laughs> Every time I try something else, I say it's gonna be my new favorite. Like I love the roasted chicken, went to the next thing, love that, went to the next thing, love that, went to this. I think this is perfection. First sandwich, oh, they've even got jalapenos on there too. Like, amazing. So you got the spicy chicken, which as you can see, I'm gonna take another bite, just to <laughs> give you guys a better look. The color, it's just seasoned to the core. It's pretty much just a massive nugget. That's just spicy. I think the pickles and the coleslaw, it completes the whole meal. That's what brings this all together. It's just, it's absolutely phenomenal. Again, like my favorite ch chicken sandwich is the Popeye's chicken. This is my new favorite sandwich. Like, I don't even want to put it down. I still got one more thing to try. And I, it, like, it's, it's that good. Their coleslaw is not overly sauced, so the chicken doesn't like, the sandwich doesn't soak through. And the pickles, Nice dill pickle, like very, very normal pickle. Okay, next up you got like a double chicken cheese burger with their spicy sauce, jalapenos, cheese, and again, kind of just like a big giant nugget. It's good, but the cheese kind of throws it off. There is too much cheese for the chicken, it just kind of... The white cheese, it does not kind of combo with the chicken. Like it's good for some people. I don't think it's something I would get ever again. It's not bad though. I think this is probably my least favorite thing here just because of the cheese, it's too overpowering. But yeah, I think that's that's all. This has been <laughs> my tour of Advik, trying everything on the menu, everything popular, everything that's known. And I gotta say, the hype was worth it. It did not disappoint. Usually when you overhype things, you're let down, but this, solid 10 out of 10. Like if this place expands outside of the Gulf area, <laughs> we'd be the luckiest people on earth. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what I do, please consider liking and subscribing and uh, have yourself a great day. Thank you.